No, that isn't a trailer for the latest Hollywood spy film. It is the video that accompanies a new designer's lookbook, but a designer with serious Hollywood cred. He's the president of Columbia Pictures. Here to tell us about Sanford Panich's moonlighting as a men's fashion designer is WSJ fashion critic Christina Binkley. Hi, Christina. Great to see you. Hi. So, Christina, doesn't Mr. Panich already have a full-time job? <laughs> and then some. <laughs> this is one of these things you say, now I've seen everything coming out of Hollywood, right? Absolutely. So how did he get started designing clothes? And you know, I, this actually goes back to his curious mind. He's had a job for many years that has him traveling all over the world, particularly in Asia, India, China. And he, oddly enough, was staying in a hotel in Mumbai, India, that he um, was interested in the hotel uniforms and asked them about the tailor, became introduced to the tailor, and one thing led to another, and now we have a clothing line. From there, that's right. So now he's launched menswear label One Size Fits Some. Tell us about the concept behind his label and, and what that name refers to. You know, it, it is a little confusing. He's actually got, he also has his name on the label. So, and, and the website is one size fits some. Uh, the concept really is that most of us can't wear it or most men can't wear it unless they're roughly a size 40. All the suits are size 40, regular. Um, there is, ingeniously though, there is extra fabric tucked inside in different places around the, the, the back of the jackets um, and, and the in the pants as well, so they can be tailored and let out. So if you're 42, you can probably squeeze into it. Wow, so he's still though going for a pretty targeted customer base. Who, who is his customer? You know, his customer, in terms of size, is, of, of course, um, you know, a, a relatively regularly shaped guy. But you know what this is, is he was early on influence and a fan of Tom Brown. And there's a lot of that sort of intriguing proportion to what he's designing. They're cool suits. As a matter of fact, I introduced my husband to them. I think that I think that they're really well designed and, and beautifully made. They have details like a sort of stitched in a seams that create the, the image of a belt across the, the back of the jacket and, and lots of pockets inside, including one that's narrow enough so that your pens don't fall over in, in, inside your jacket. Sounds um, great, but what's, so is the price point accessible or is this a very high end, these are very high well, end suits? It's 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 a designer price point, but kind of entry level designer. You get a suit or a tuxedo for about fifteen hundred dollars, which is a very fair price mm -hmm. for something that is as well designed and and as unique as this. All right, now he's certainly getting a little help from his Hollywood friends, right, Christina? Who are some of his high profile admirers? You know, this is one of the things that one of the things that initially um, caught my attention was they sent me a copy of his lookbook, and I'm lo usually that's an anonymous model wearing clothes, sort of shot from the front. This one had a very familiar looking face. I thought. Isn't that Spock from Star Trek? It was Zachary Quinto as the lookbook model. <laughs> from there, you know, I, you know, J.J. Abrams is a longtime friend and has been wear, wearing this. Sean Levy is the director of the uh, Night at the Museum um, franchise. We, he's been wearing it. Uh, Greg Kinnear um, has, has been enjoying it, the actor. Being the president of Columbia Pictures comes with some, some perks there. So, Christina, where do you think he plans to take it from here? Will this be a second career? or could it take over? Uh, you know, I don't get any indication that it's going to take over. He, somebody said, J.J. Abrams actually told me that he's following his bliss, and I think that that's really true. He started out designing these suits for himself. Mm -hmm. He had fun. He got obsessed with the details. His friends started wearing it. It was Zachary Quinto, actually, who told him, you need a lookbook. Let's put this thing out there. And so they called a filmmaker friend of theirs, and, and the, you know, the rest is, is potentially going to be history. But this is going to be a small, niche, kind of fun hobby for right. him, I think. But clearly, you, as a fashion critic, you like the designs. You you said you recommended like, it to your husband. I liked it very much. I think he's he's really onto something. It's, it's a slightly different proportions. It calls your attention. Andrew Jarecki wore one of the suits to accept his Emmy last year um, um, for um, for a film. And um, you, you kind of when you look at the photographs of that, you say there's something going on with that suit. It's subtle. It's oh. not weird. All right, super fun, Christina Binkley. Thank you so much for that. My pleasure as always.